Here we see granulation tissue. Granulation tissue is uh, very important in the healing process. And it is basically the way how the organism um, creates a new connective tissue. So if you cut yourself, uh, the wound uh, will be filled with granulation tissue. Another example is myocardial infarction, uh, where necrosis or coagulative necrosis after some time uh, will turn into granulation tissue and over the time it will heal and create create uh, scar tissue. Uh, so granulation tissue consists of uh, fibroblasts, myofibroblasts, inflammatory cells and capillaries. So a few capillaries can be seen here. They are aligned with endothelial cells and, filled with, uh, and uh, they are filled with erythrocytes. Another capillary is here, here, here or here. Uh, this structure here is actually foreign bodies from probably some hair and if we zoom in a little bit uh, we can see m multiple inflammatory cells um, mainly plasma cells so all of these cells are plasma cells uh, they are oval shaped they have um, hyperchromatic round nucleus that is pushed to one side of the cytoplasm and sometimes we can recognize uh, the classical uh, perinuclear clearing or perinuclear half, which is uh, basically Golgi apparatus. And the difference between plasma cells and lymphocytes is that plasma cells produce immunoglobulins, therefore plasma cells have um, voluminous cytoplasm and uh, the lymphocytes is uh, only, only the round, dark, nucleus, just a small amount of cytoplasm. Sometimes the cytoplasm is not even visible. Uh, another type of inflammatory cell uh, are granulocytes. So here we see the two eosinophils with red granular cytoplasm and the nuclei that, has, that have two lobes. And they look like plums or sunglasses. Uh, the most common type of granulocyte is neutrophils. And neutrophils. So here we see some neutrophils with multilobated nuclei. Here we see four lobes. Uh, the cytoplasm is also filled with uh, granules, and these granules are neutrophil, neutrophilic, or pink. Uh, they are not so eosinophilic as eosinophils. Uh, these large multinucleated giant cells are actually transformed macrophages. And they are also called foreign body cells, or those are, those are cells seen uh, around some foreign material that cannot be easily phagocytosed or destroyed, and they are transformed macrophages. Here we can see some brown pigment, which is very probably hemosiderin, and if we want to be sure, we can use Prussian blue stain or pearls, uh, pearls stain. And uh, the hemosiderin would turn into blue, um, blue pigment uh, because of iron ions that mediates this blue reaction. Uh, macrophages that phagocytose the hemosiderin are sometimes called siderophages. So here we you can see siderophages. Um, <clears throat> the larger cells with oval, vesicular, larger nuclei are fibroblasts. And fibroblasts produce collagen fibers, so these structures here in the interstitium are actually collagen fibers. Over the time, um, there, will be, there will be less inflammatory cells, less fibroblasts, and less capillaries in the granulation tissue, and more and more collagen fibers. And finally, after some time, the granulation tissue will mature into scar tissue.